This is a sign uh, to welcome people that comes to Rudamena, which is in uh, Vilnius district in Lithuania. And this is the place where I uh, grew up in. And uh, it's special actually, because it says welcome to Rudamena, but in two languages, uh, in Lithuanian, Sveiki atviki Rudamena, and Vitami uh, Rudamene. It's in Polish language. Uh, and. Um, yeah, basically it's illegal in Lithuania, like all the public signs has to be written in uh, Lithuanian language only and here this sign stands for like 20 years already and nobody cares that it's illegal actually. And when I was little, I was pretty offended, like why would my place that I live in would represent themselves as something that it's illegal, but now working in uh, magic carpets for a few years for a few years already i realized and like after seeing all these communities all across europe i understand how this community thing is really complex actually and that's one of the one of the ways how community or the minority actually can um, can search for its identity and yeah and now, now I, I found it pretty cool and, and funny and uh, heartwarming actually because that's where I you know because I was grown surrounded by Lithuanian and also Polish language and that was special about it and yeah this is the place. <laughs> now in my home where I grew up, where I'm, I was living from three years old uh, and this is my room uh, and this place, this frame that you see now actually remained the same. It's like pretty much it, how I left it when I moved to my uh, personal home already. It's not a big town, it's in Vilnius district, 20 minutes by car to the city center. It's a completely different world. I kind of have a feeling that I grew up in a small community, uh, in a small town where everybody knew each other. Oh my God, it's, uh, it's a nice <laughs> here. Okay, never mind, never mind. Wow. These wings are maybe 40 years old or 45 years old or maybe even older. I'm not sure uh, exactly, but uh, I used to swing when I was uh, little here. Dad used to come here with his friends when he was a child and my mom also. And like, it's still there. It's still, I can still use it. And that's, yeah, that's pretty amazing actually. I think this is kind of important to feel connected to the community through these little things as a swing, for example, but like sitting on it, I can also feel how interconnected all the people are here. And I think that's also what I learned uh, from my childhood, that community is something that is important, even though we were not we were never talking about this kind of word, community. We were not using it. It was just there. We knew it. It's also maybe special because uh, as a Lithuanian speaking family, we were a minority in Rudamena because most of the, all of the people speaks uh, Polish here and it's a, a huge uh, Polish people community here and it also kind of 
uh, teach me how it feels to to understand what the this kind of social groups are and how a complex relationship between between them can be and i yeah i i, I usually kind of uh, understand maybe more uh, um, of this complexity when also working with the communities now at the moment in magic carpets platform for example Uh, yeah experience from here always inspires me to for, for 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 the topics that I want to work with in magic carpets or for the or also how I interact with people because uh, because yeah it, it makes a difference um, to uh, to understand what kind of uh, social background that person is when you plan to collaborate with him so I guess that's important to recognize and to make him or her feel important from this perspective. Mm -hmm. 